Hey guys, my name's Lindsay and today we're going to take a few minutes to look at order of operation. And when you think order of operation in math, you have probably heard of bed mass before. But I'm going to run through that for you. Um, bed mass, B E D M A S, and each letter stands for something. I've included those already. So this tells us the order that we do math. When I take a look at a book, for example, I read the words left to right, but math doesn't work that way. Math follows a specific order. So when I look at this question, for example, I can't just start with four times two. I need to follow our order of operation. So the order in which we're going to do things here, we're first going to start with brackets and then exponents like we have right there. Um, and then division and multiplication are the next two, but you can see this arrow here pulling them together because division and multiplication, even though the D comes before the M in bed mass, the order actually doesn't matter. We actually are going to do those left to right when we get to that point. And then the same goes for addition and subtraction. They happen simultaneously at the same time. So let's take a look at an example that we've got up here. So I have four, that dot means times. I don't want to use an X because sometimes you can think that maybe that's the variable X. So we'll use a dot for multiply. Four times two plus six to the power of two, subtract, and then in brackets, eight divided by two plus one. Now we're going to start with the brackets. The brackets are right here. And something that's interesting about bed mass is not only do we have to use it for this question, but we actually have to use it for inside of the brackets as well. 8 divided by 2, I know it looks like a fraction, but a fraction is really just division. We have to do the division and multiplication before we can do the addition and subtraction. So I can't add those together first and then divide. I've got to do the division first. So let's leave the rest of this alone. 4 times 2 plus 6 squared subtract. I'm going to leave the brackets intact. I'm going to deal with 8 divided by 2 first. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then on my next line, I can complete the brackets. So 4 plus 1 is 5. Everything else stays the same. You can, of course, st skip steps if you're more comfortable um, with bed mass. But I'm going to do one step at a time just to make sure it's clear. So we have dealt with the brackets. We're done. Let's move on to the next, which is exponents. When I look at this, I see one exponent right here. So I'm going to deal with 6 squared. I'm going to leave everything else alone. So 4 times 2 will stay the same. 6 squared, that positive sign is going to stay there. I'm just squaring the 6, and 6 squared is 36. Subtract 5. So we've dealt with exponents. We're moving on to division and multiplication. I don't see any division here. All I see is multiplication, so I'm going to do that next. 4 times 2 is 8. Subtract 5. And now I've got addition and subtraction. Now, in this case, addition does come first before subtraction, but if these were flipped, I still would go left to right because addition and subtraction happen at the same time. 8 plus 36. And then I'm going to do that last subtraction. And I've got a final answer of 39. So why don't we make ourselves a little bit more room here and we'll try one more question. All right, guys, we're back. We're going to take a look at one more example. And my suggestion would be at this point in the video, pause the video, try that question on your own following bed mass to see if you can get comfortable with these types of questions and then come back and check your answer with mine. Let's work through it together now. We are going to start with, and I've got some check marks here. Let's get rid of those so we can start again. Start with brackets. So here's our bracket. Something I want to mention before I go forward, we've got a five out here and then we've got a bracket. There's no symbol in between this bracket and that five. If you ever see that happen, the symbol actually is multiply. But a lot of the times it gets left out. You could put it there though if you're more comfortable. So we're going to go inside the brackets. Now inside the brackets, we also have to follow bed mass. I can't do negative 5 plus 3 first because addition and subtraction happens at the end. I've got to start with division and multiplication. So I actually have to do this little part of the bracket first. So I'm going to write everything else the way I see it. And I'm going to deal with 3 times 7, which 
is positive 21. Leave the rest alone. Now let's complete the inside part of this bracket. Negative 5 plus 21, which is <laughs> 16. Don't you hate when that happens? And now we've got this final divided by 2 squared. Okay, so I've dealt with brackets. There was a lot of stuff in those brackets. Now I'm going to deal with exponents, if there are any. And it looks like there is. I've got 2 to the power of 2, which we know is 2 times itself twice. So I've got 5 times 16 divided by 4. So now I've dealt with my exponents. Now I'm going to do a division and multiplication. And it looks like the multiplication comes before the division, even though division is written here first, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go in order because we know that this goes left to right. So 5 times 16, which is 80, one step at a time. And then I'll deal with this last. 80 divided by 4 is 20. And we've got our final answer. So hopefully that helps you a little bit with order of operations.